welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a wheel that looks like this into a wheel that can look like that. Let's have a look. So now I've got the fourth wheel off the car, the mission is to get that old paint off the rim. So I'm going to use paint stripper. I found this to be the most efficient and effective way of removing all those old layers. We'll talk about sandblasting later on in the video, but for now I've got my work cut out. So let's start adding some product onto this old paint, get it reacting and peeling off and then just repeat the process until all the paint is removed. The paint strip has been left for about 45 minutes to do its work and as you can see it's scraping off in quite large amounts but my work isn't finished yet, this is just part of the process. So now I've managed to get rid of a majority of the paint. As you can see, there's still quite a lot there. So to help things along a little bit, I'm gonna use the pressure washer, just to get, up. that'll get underneath the paint, that'll get under the loose pieces and just blast it straight off. And it's quite a clean and effective way of just getting the paint stripper off the wheel. So that's round one completed for the wheel. So now what I need to do is just blow off all the water, make sure all the surfaces are dry and then reapply the paint stripper and repeat the process all over again. It's just a waiting game. So we're getting close to what's needed to be achieved here, but there's still paint hanging around. So I'm going to use a toothbrush to get into all those tight crevices where the paint's being quite stubborn to remove. This will also remove any flaky paint that's hanging around. So let's give it a dab of paint stripper and get into it. There's the first wheel ready for sandblasting. Heaps of masking. So I'm just going to get a blade now and cut out the shapes so that um, when I blast I'm only going to be hitting the paint, not the aluminium. See, that paint's been on there for a very long time and I'm just trying to find just in there. I even tried the drill on a wire wheel which I've got next to my beer and it's going to have to be paint stripper and I'm going to try that next to see how effective that is. I did read you have to be careful with paint stripper um, and be an aluminium and need an etch primer but I've got some epoxy left that I want to use. Ah, it goes on so I'm going to get some um, paint stripper for those odd bits that are lingering in the corners etc. The sandblaster just couldn't get into them and I didn't want to hang around with a sandblaster too long so what's going to happen now is I'm going to pull the mask off so there you have it sandblasting yeah no I don't know at the end of the day I think the paint stripper is just a better way to go heaps and heaps of masking involved uh, with sandblasting to protect the tire 
and the areas that we want to polish. On top of that, it has to be peeled off to polish and then remasked again when I want to paint the surfaces that are unpolished. So it's back to paint stripper. Channel has merchandise available now. T-shirts are available in black or white, $45. Grab yourself a set of stickers for 10 bucks, or they're $4 each, suitable for your toolbox or your man cave. The transparent tire are really cool for the outside glass on your car. Or the reverse transparent for the inside glass on your car. It's getting a little chilly out there. Beanies are now available at $30 each. Contact me through the Facebook page for prices availability. All prices include Post Australia White. That's all the paint off of rib number four. We're ready to start polishing. I'm just gonna give it a blow off, give it a little water. That's the outer rim polished. It's come out quite nice. Bit of gutter rash in there. Has to be expected, I guess. So now I'm just gonna concentrate on all these areas. Um, the center and then the center cap. Well, it's been a full on day with this polishing malarkey. But at the end of the day, it looks 100% better than what it did. A recent search on the internet looking for stag related material and this come up an article of stags in Australia. So quite an interesting read, check it out. The wheel polishing turned out okay. So off camera, I've added some epoxy, given it a couple of coats, left it overnight to dry. Now it's time to add some gloss back. So I'm gonna give it two to three coats, spread the coats out evenly, and leave that to dry, and then it'll be a case of just peeling off the mask and see how the whole process has turned out.
Well that's came out pretty well. The mask has leaked in a few places. Uh, I don't know if you can see it just there. There. But overall, a massive improvement on what it used to look like. So I'm just gonna get a bit of thinners, a bit of tissue, and see if I can tidy those lines up a bit. The wheel turned out pretty good. So all that's left to do is just take the old paint off the wheel nuts. Now they're aluminium, so there's no need to give them a coat of silver. I like the silver look with the wheel nuts. It breaks the wheel up even more between the black uh, inserts and the polished surfaces. So just using a wire brush and a drill, lock them in the vise and just spin them until they've got a nice clean finish. That's the fourth wheel finished. So let's have a look at the wheels in this video, a good shot of them before the car came off the trailer. Multiple layers of paint, the chrome has oxidized and gone faded. So they really did need some attention. So now let's have a look and see what they look like now they've been polished. that's all I've got time for in this video pretty happy with how the wheels have turned out making the car look a lot better also slowly turning it into what I used to have but there's more to come and watch out for my next episode on the interceptor as always like share and subscribe see you on the next one